Being with you and not being with you is the only way I have to measure time. Today I will love you like there is no tomorrow. And tomorrow I will love you all over again. I have lived in seven cities across three countries and two continents. In a sea of eight million people, it took a global pandemic to bring the city that never sleeps to a halt so that we could fall in love. When we first started planning this wedding, we discussed we one of the most important people, the special people in our lives, to be with us here today. Every one of them said no. Thank you for coming. To my wife, you are my first and last thought of every day. You have such high standards in every other aspect of your life. I'm glad you settled for me. Andrew and Shen may not share the same cultural background or religious upbringing, but they do have lots in common. Their silly sense of humor, though Shen still pretends to not like his dad jokes. The fact that they're both fitness fanatics and foodies, but my favorite commonality is the way that they love. I met Shana many moons ago in a tiny little country called Qatar. Whenever I would come back from Ireland, she would always come to the airport and pick me up. She knew I'd be sad and miss my family, and she would pull up with a hilarious sign. She'd grab my luggage, throw it in the back, and we would go somewhere. She never wanted me to feel alone. She wanted me to feel loved, appreciated, and accepted. To echo Rihanna, we did find love in a hopeless place, and I'm beyond happy that you and Andrew found love on each other in New York. May your troubles be less, and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. May you have love that never ends, lots of money and lots of friends, Good health be yours, whatever you do, and may Allah send many blessings to you. Today is the day I truly consider myself the luckiest man on earth. Your grace and beauty brings me to my knees. I don't know what I did to deserve your love, but it is a debt I would gladly repay for a thousand lifetimes. Every day the sun rises is another day I get to spend in your presence. 41 years. 356 days. Never thought this day would come. When the whole world was at a standstill and no one knew what was going to happen, you are my sakun. You bring me so much joy. You make me want to be better because you deserve all the happiness this world can give. I don't know how you love so selflessly, but I will forever be grateful that you picked me. Let me see you. I could have never envisioned being in this place when we first met years ago, but now I can't imagine a day without you. You made me feel emotions I didn't know were possible. There is no longer a me without you. There is only an us. You're the best person I have ever met. I am so proud of who you are. I know my family has gained a gem of a human now that we have you. I thought it was, on, it was an on. Of course, it's never coming off again. They say people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. For me, Shanila has been all three. 
Shanila, not everyone is fortunate enough to have a best friend who is kind, funny, caring, generous, and beautiful inside and out. And so I just hope you know how lucky you are that you have two friends that you can say that about. Anyone who knows Shanila even a little bit knows that she is the glue that holds us all together, even when we're miles and countries and continents apart. Shen loves hard. She has been an unwavering source of strength, support, joy, and hope in my life. So obviously, when I met Andrew, I was a little bit suspect. <laughs> this girl is so special. How could anyone be worthy? But I remember the first time she introduced us and I just adored him. As I got to know Andrew, I saw that he shows up for and loves his family and friends just as fiercely as Shanila does. It's clear you are amazing individually, but even better together. to look at each other now and then glance around the room. See all those who have shaped you, who love you, who are here for you. Loyalty, commitment, those words, every person here that knows Drew has been touched by his commitment to their relationship. It's his selfless love, expecting nothing in return but just being loyal and a true friend. The people around this room are all here because you have touched them in some way and they are all better because of it. My father once mentioned to me, out of all of his sage advice, a relationship is not 50-50, it is 100-100. And I vow to give you 150% of myself every day. <laughs> 